Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my YouTube channel English with TJ Malik. Today we are going to start with the second chapter of phonetic and phonology and the topic is articulatory above larynx. So we are going to discuss the articulators, the main articulators in the production of the speech. Articulators above the larynx. So specifically we are going to talk about the articulars above the neck level. All these sounds we make when we speak are the result of muscles contractions. Jab bhi koi awaz hum produce karte hai, koi bhi awaz bolte hai, to usme hamara muscles contract karna bohut zaruri hai. The muscles in the chest that we use for breathing produce the flow of air that is needed for almost all speech sounds. Muscles in the larynx produce many different modifications in the flow of air. So, what happens is that our respiratory system, our lungs, our breathing system starts from there. So, air steam mechanisms, which is the breathing process, are different muscular contractions. In our larynx, or our neck region, wind pipe ke through jab uh, breathing process produce hota hai to usme air steam mechanism ke natije mein jo hamari production of sounds hoti hai usme bahut sare articulators speech organs involved hote hain after passing through the larynx the air goes through what we call the vocal tract which ends at the mouth hamare vocal tract mein jab wo aati hai neck region mein to phir wo khatam kahan aati hai hamare mouth mein my mouth mein bahut sare speech organs hain hamara roof of the uh, or the floor of the mouth jo hai wahan pe so we are going to give the basic review of all these changes so uh, we have a large and complex set of muscles that can produce changes um, that can produce changes in the shape of the vocal tract and in order to learn how the sounds of speech are produced it is necessary to become familiar with different parts of the vocal tract agar hum janna chahte hain ki insani speech jo hai wo kaise produce hoti hai to hame vocal tracts ka pata hona chahiye these different parts are called the articulators and the study of them is called the articulatory phonetics so first have for an overview of all uh, this mouth uh, we have upper teeth then we have alveolar ridge this is hard palate and then we have a soft palate which is also called as velum so yahan pe velum ki opening and closing play an important role agar ye velum abhi is picture mein aapko open nazar aa raha hai and ye jo dead zone hai ye hamare Mm, neck region may provide karti hai, ek opening toward the nasal a cavity. If the velum is open, then it will be a small narrow uh, hole in which our nose or nasal uh, sounds will produce. And if the velum is expanded and soft palate closed, then our whole voice will be able to air production ke through. हमारे माउथ में आएगी तो आपने सुना होगा कि हमारे दो तरह के सिस्टम्स होते हैं स्पीच के हम कहते हैं इसकी आवाज नाक से आ रही है तो वो नेजल एक्टिविटी या नेजल कैविटी से साउंड प्रोड्यूस होती है और स्पेशली जब हम कुरान मजीद या कुछ ऐसे टोन्स होती हैं इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज में भी जो हम कहते हैं नेजल साउंड्स हैं तो नेजल साउंड्स तब प्रोड्यूस होती हैं जब वीलम ओपन होगा वीलम क्लोज होगा तो सारी जो है हमारे ओरल कैविटी में साउंड्स प्रोड्यूस होंगी ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव फेरिंग्स फेरिंग्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आर्टिकुलेटरी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू और अगर हम यहां पे देखें तो हमारे जो मेन आर्टिकुलेटर्स हैं अपर लिप्स एंड द लोअर लिप्स सो ये तमाम के तमाम स्पीच ऑर्गन्स जो हमारी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्पीच साउंड के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है यानी हम आर्टिकुलेटर्स कहते हैं नाउ Starting with the first one, total we have seven articulators in this discussion and starting with the pharynx, it is a tube which begins just above the larynx. It has about 7 cm long in women and about 8 cm in men 
and it is divided into two parts the mouth and the other being the way through the nasal cavity now coming to the second part velum velum which is also called as the soft palate is seen in the diagram and yours is probably in that position now but often in speech it is there so that air cannot escape to the nose so have a look on it okay in this position you are speaking right now i am speaking so my velum is closed because i am having a oral sound producing right now okay uh the other important thing uh, about the velum is that it is one of the articulators that can be touched by the tongue yes this is one of the important mcq ke wo kaun sa articulator hai jo ke tongue touch kar sakti hai when we make the sound k and k the tongue is in contact with the lower side of the velum and we call these velar consonants aur hum inko velar consonants kehte hain so वीलर कॉन्सोनेंट्स हमारे पास क एंड का है वेन द वीलम टच टंग इज गोइंग टू बी कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड विद द लोअर साइड ऑफ द वीलम द हार्ट पैलेट नाउ कमिंग टू दर्ड इम्पॉर्टेंट आर्टिकुलेटर दैट इज हार्ट पैलेट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द रूफ ऑफ द माउथ सो हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस वेयर इज द हार्ट पैलेट दिस इज हार्ट पैलेट विच इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड टू बी द roof of the mouth you can feel its stomach curved surface with our tongue now the fourth articulator is alveolar ridge is between the top front teeth and the hard palate it is between somehow between the top front teeth and the hard palate and you can feel its shape with your tongue its surface is really much rougher than it feels theek hai alveolar ridge jo hogi wo between the upper teeth and some yahan pe इंडिकेट कर सकते हैं ओवर दियर एलवलर रिज एंड एलवलर रिज विद योर टंग इट सर्फिस इज रियली मच रफर देन इट्स फील यू कैन ऑल्सली सी दीज इफ यू हैव अ मेरर स्मॉल आप अपने आप को शीशे में देखेंगे मुँह खोल के और जब आप गला ऊपर की तरफ करेंगे सो यू कैन सी द एलवलर रिज ओके एंड साउंड मेड विद द टंग टचिंग हेयर सच एस ठ एंड ठ as in tall and tall are called alveolar now the fifth one is the tongue and tongue is divided into various divisions so uh, tongue is of course a very important articulator and it can be moved into many different places and different shapes so zuban jo hai ek aisa articulator hai jiske different parts hain aur iski movement bhi hoti hai when we are saying certain words we are touching and moving our tongue within the oral cavity there are no clear dividing lines within the tongue the tongue on a larger scale with these parts are shown so pehle main aapko ek review dikha deti hu different parts of the tongue ke so we have tip then we have blade then we have front back and then root so here we are almost five parts or subdivisions of the tongue am um, the teeth now coming to the sixth articulator the teeth upper and lower are usually shown in the diagram like this is for the sake of a simple diagram and you should remember that the most speakers have teeth to the sides of their mouth back almost to the soft palate the tongue is in contact with the upper side teeth for many speech sound sound made with the tongue touching the iron teeth are called dental for the front teeth are happy learning thank you